simply remember us and remember your church community at work praying for those who have been touched by breast cancer in some way. This is also the third week that we're into our drive for our ministry drive for 2020, our pledge drive for, for 2020. And each week we've had someone from the congregation come and say a word to us about their place in our life and, and what moves them to be here. And we'd love to have the, the Payne family come today and, and say a word to us. Carter and Kristen, welcome. And thank you so much for giving time today. Good morning. Good morning. So this is my 42nd year coming to this church. <laughs> my parents were married here in 1974. Both my kids were baptized here. And I even served uh, as a cameo as baby Jesus in the 1978 <laughs> Christmas pageant. <laughs> that is the definition of peaking early. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, Bill and Fletch Koch approached me after we spoke at the 830 service and said their daughter was actually the Virgin Mary as oh, part of that wow. pageant. Wow, okay. And then Bill chimed in saying, your dad was really proud of the fact that you were the baby Jesus because of what that made him. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know my dad, George, uh, Bill says he's never been the same since. So. <laughs> Still have more. We, we love it here. Uh, this church provides our family a spiritual compass. It's a peaceful ending to every busy week and weekend we encounter. And it's also a recalibration of our minds and our spirit before every week we have ahead. We love it here because of the community. Timothy exudes a warmth in everything he does. Our children immediately felt welcome through Christ Church's program for its youngest in its scriptures, saints, and songs. And because of that, they now look forward to every week at Sunday school. His warm hugs have long been what they expect at the end of each service. What a gift Timothy is to us all. Lissa, with her fitting role overseeing our pastoral care, with her knowing winks and denial of our son when he goes for his second round of communion wine, Matthew's insightful, energetic, and often hilarious sermons, just like this morning. The patience and warmth of Caroline Bowerschmidt. And of course, the family, the friends, and the familiar warm faces in the congregation. We love this community because it is like-minded, yet because everyone is different. When we think of annual giving, we think of the annual activities that enrich our lives and others here. The Christmas pageant, which is magical, making Advent wreaths and giving of Jesse trees, the church picnic at Centennial Park under the big oak tree, our family's participation in vacation Bible school and church in the yard helping to serve others. And of course, there's the future. I'm always so inspired by our youth who speak on Youth Sunday at their emotional intelligence and their maturity. And I hope that our own children will be part of that formative experience too. And then for the two of us one day during a very different and hopefully less busy season of life, we hope to enjoy participating in more of the church's classes, workshops, and retreats. We also think of all the things that make every Sunday here special. The creaky sounds of the floorboards, the, war the warmth that emanates from the church, it feels like a comfortable sweater. Mm. Palmer, our thoughtful and artistic daughter, loves looking at the church's stained glass windows. Fight, our active and social son, loves to junior usher with Donald McKenzie and anyone else who will let him. We just love the relative peace and quiet that we get for one hour of every week. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the smell of this church. We give to Christ Church because we feel like we've received so much from Christ Church. We give for what it is today and for what it will be in the future as it continues to serve as the spiritual epicenter of downtown Nashville. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time today. If you find there in your pews, there's right there in the visitor card section, there should be a copy of a pledge card for the coming year. Uh, if you haven't yet pledged, take one with you. Pray with members of your household about how you would support the ongoing ministry of Christ Church Cathedral here at the corner of 9th and Broadway. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. 